All right, hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome to this training. Uh, this is about creating a massive action plan for 2011 for your network marketing, your direct sales business. Uh, I'm sure you've heard the, the saying before, failing to plan is planning to fail. That is absolutely true. You have to have a plan in place, um, you know, as well as, uh, you know, production goals and, and everything for, you know, for the next week, for the next uh, month, the next 90 days, the next six months, and the next year, you have to know where you're going if you if you want to get there. And this uh, this presentation, this uh, training is going to absolutely help you to get there. This was actually originally a training that I did specifically for my team um, in uh, late December of 2010, uh, and I'm uh, I'm recording it because I got such excellent feedback uh, that I decided to uh, to record it and make it available uh, to to anyone else who who really you know requires this this information so uh, another another thing that you might have heard before this is one of the very first earliest things that I heard in my direct sales uh, career is that massive action brings massive results and that is absolutely true so you want to create a massive action plan and we're going to show you how to do that uh, throughout this presentation so First of all, attaining the slight edge. Now, the slight edge is a book that I've uh, I read uh, in late 2009 that made a huge, huge, huge difference for me. Uh, it was highly recommended by a, a seven-figure marketer uh, mentor of mine, and it made a huge, huge difference in 2010. I was actually able to almost triple my income between 2009 and 2010, and I really att uh, attribute a lot of that to this slight edge philosophy. So, attaining the slight edge is what you will uh, is what will make 2011 the best year of your life. Not attaining it will spell frustration, envy, possibly even disaster in your business and your financial life. The slight edge is the daily disciplines repeated over a period of time which compound over the long haul. And this is how every successful network marketer has built thriving empires uh, and there are zero exceptions. So success is not so much about what you do, but what you do daily. So this is the the secret to success in online uh, network marketing. Uh, the the uh, only difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people are willing to do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. That's it. If there were a secret to in, in this industry or in life for that matter, this would be it. So stop looking for that magic bullet. It does not exist. You will only waste more of your time looking for it and that is precious time that you could be spending performing leveraged slight edge activities to attain that compounding effect. So what should a plan look like? Well, your plan should be simple. It should be so simple that you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing during the hours that you devote to your business. This is going to be different for different people depending on your strengths, your weaknesses, your available time, and your available resources, uh, like for example, your marketing budget. So, uh, and also please note that uh, do not let a lack of time or money be an excuse for a lack of results. Uh, successful people, they, they, they use what they have, they make it work, they make do with what they have, and um, you know they, they don't make excuses, um, they produce, uh, they make do. So we're going to be talking about creating a simple plan on a zero to a five hundred dollar monthly marketing budget, and this is going to include. Uh, we're going to get into detail on on all three of these, but it's going to include content production, building a social media audience for exposure and for credibility, and also uh, exposing people to your your products and services through prospecting. Um, now, I see a lot of people worrying about being perfect, afraid to make a mistake. Um, don't don't worry so much about doing it right or doing it perfectly. Do it more. That goes down to that massive action brings massive results. Double your rate of failure and you will double your rate of success. That is a uh, very important slight edge philosophy. So uh, getting on into content production. Producing content in the form of videos, articles, blogs, press releases. Um, I would definitely, especially if you're just getting started, pick one or two to focus on. And now for me, currently, it's my blog and videos. When I got started um, in video, uh, I was using video marketing, and I was doing making videos daily, and that was absolutely my breakthrough 
uh, marketing strategy that you know really got me kind of on the map. So uh, today I produce about three blog posts per week. Uh, my blogging schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And on top of that, I have a production goal of at least five videos per week. And now this doesn't doesn't mean that there's not going to be weeks where I'll produce ten or even more videos in a week, but uh, at least five. So weekly content production goals, uh, five new pieces of content per week. If you're doing video marketing and using something like TubeMogul, which is free, which I used when I first got started, or Traffic Geyser, which is a pay, which is paid um, for distributing those videos, this could add up to hundreds or even thousands of pieces of online real estate per week and the same goes for article marketing if you're using something like automatic article submitter um, imagine how much exposure your content could have if you do this consistently throughout the year uh, the number two thing social media uh, very very important to uh, have uh, in your marketing strategy uh, following people on Twitter uh, friend requesting on Facebook and LinkedIn subscribing to channels on YouTube again pick one or two uh, social media sites to focus on and just go nuts attack so I really like Twitter because there are fewer restrictions and you can automate the majority of the process um, you can uh, I actually did a training on that if you go to my Facebook fan page that's uh, facebook.com forward slash meet Adam Chandler. Uh, so again, that's facebook.com forward slash meet Adam Chandler and opt in for a, a boot camp series that I did where I go into detail about this. Um, so building these accounts daily and building a relationship with your growing audience uh, will provide a great medium to share your newly created content. So weekly social media production goals. Um, on Facebook, you should be adding 100 new connections per week. Uh, remember, this is social media. So start conversations, build relationships, ask questions, establish connections. And you know, Twitter, if you follow 1,000 Twitter users per week, you'll get roughly 300 new uh, Twitter followers that follow you back, so about 30%. Um, then you want to up your numbers uh, once you reach a couple thousand followers. Uh, again, if you uh, get into my social media rock star uh, video boot camp training series, um, you'll you'll find it, you know exactly the numbers, and I'll go into detail about how I do this. <clears throat> and I did this manually and built one of my accounts to over 30,000 followers, uh, which I do use to generate free leads for my business on a daily basis. So, the third aspect of it prospecting this is the third aspect of your plan uh, along with your content marketing your social media and then prospecting so you must be speaking to people about your products and your services daily if you're generating leads with an online marketing system uh, like like I use uh, my lead system pro or MLSP you'll be speaking with a higher quality prospect than if your only audience is your friends and family but you will still be have to uh, be connecting with people daily so set a goal to speak with five to ten people per day about your products your services your business opportunity and make up in numbers what you lack in skill this is very important if you're if you're just starting out if you haven't developed some of the skills yet then you can definitely make up in numbers what you lack in skill over time you will get more comfortable with the process you will get better on the phone and you will be well on your way to top producer status getting awards on stage at your company events and that is when this business becomes a lot of fun weekly prospecting production goals so speak with 50 new prospects per week even if you're not very good you can expect 20 percent to at least show an interest so 10 new interested prospects should equal about two to three signups per week. Now that's over a hundred new signups in a year. Numbers like these in this industry compounded over a couple years means you've reached the top 1% of the industry and with only a small percentage of your organization duplicating you're a millionaire in about five years and these are statistics that I've heard from seven-figure marketers uh, time and time again so uh, another thing that you want to remember commit to a, a principle that I learned from Tony Robbins called can I and it's uh, stands for consistent and never-ending improvement so that means personal development daily prospecting daily building your social media following 
daily, getting on twi- getting on training calls, uh, wake up calls, surrounding yourself with successful people daily, and it will rub off on you. Uh, remember, massive action brings massive results. Um, you can make excuses or you can make money. You can't make both. Um, do more than average people are willing to do and you will have that edge that you require. That was what I did when I really broke through with my video marketing. I was doing about four videos a day. You know, I was doing I was doing more than, than the average person would, would be willing to do and that gave me the edge that I required to really break through. <clears throat> Surround yourself with successful people through training calls, through wake-up calls, um, inspirational calls from your company, or we have a, an MLSP uh, morning, uh, daily morning wake-up call. I actually hosted this morning's wake-up call, um, and uh, so so that's just another way to surround yourself with leaders to get in front of uh, people that you strive to be and the results that you strive to have on a regular basis, and simple disciplines over a long period of time will begin to compound and give you the results that you desire. So you can you can choose either simple disciplines repeated over a period of time or simple errors in judgment repeated over over a period of time. And either way, you're you're doing it one way or another. You're either repeating the simple disciplines or you're repeating the simple errors in judgment. And you know one is going to lead you to results and success that you want, and the other is going to lead to frustration and failure. So make that decision uh, which one of those, which which road you're going to take. Choose that road right now, today. Make that decision right now. So if you're looking for more free training, um, I've got a, a ton of uh, really great content on my blog. That's meetadamchandler.com. And there, from there, you can connect with me on uh, social media sites like Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Better Networker. And uh, also uh, subscribe to uh, my newsletter at mlmattractorfactor.com. You'll get a ton of uh, free training over there at mlmattractorfactor.com. So get to work. Make that plan, uh, get crystal clear on where you're going, on your vision, uh, get started, get cracking uh, today, and that's how you're going to make uh, this year the best year of your life. So this is Adam Chandler, and uh, make, it, uh, make it count, make it, a, make it a great day, and get to work.